this is one thing about me. Like, I meet people all the time. One, one of the reasons why I'm out of LA is because I'm not an industry guy, right? No. And everybody in LA with fitness is like, oh, industry, 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 right? And I'm like, no, this shit kind of happened to fall on me because I fucking love the gym and the lifestyle. And... Yeah. But what I don't like is fake relationships. People that want to forge a friendship out of like us getting views of followers off of each other. Me and Mark are really fucking friends. Like, yeah. we fucking, I was so excited he was coming out. I was like, happy. Well, we get to go watch football. I give a fuck. I was picking up, went to pick him up from the airport. He had ran in the car. I was butthurt. I'm like, why? why? Like, why? I don't like inconveniencing people. But you know, that's how it is when, you, when you, it's your boy, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're not on that industry bullshit, man. This bench, man, it sounds like a squeaky bed. It is. Sounds like, <laughs> it's like, it's good. It's good, I'll roll with it. Uh, see what people are saying on the scopage. Scopers. Mark Stank. Anavar or d -Bull? Mike, I'll, I'll defer to you on that one. Uh. <laughs> well, Anavar if you're a woman or a teenager. Because that's what the studies were done on women and children, right? Is that right? Yeah. Don't read comments, fags trolling. That's pretty much the story of my life. <laughs> you know what's some funny shit? I, I seen a, some supplement. I don't know who the company is, but they had some shit. You know they always trying to be like, if you like Anavar, you'll love. The shit was called Anna Clint, Clinovar. Clinovar. They combined two steroid Clinovar. names into one tremendous like, on, guys. steroidal on. component with no side effects. You Come want to go a quarter or a search two? We, I'm whatever. I usually go a play. Clenavar. Hopefully we provide you guys in YouTube land the most childish bench press session ever. <laughs> when we get together, we're very fucking childish. I don't know, man. That 100 rep challenge. And we're both trying to recover. That was gangster, though. That was gangster. We're both trying to still recover from that shit. Right. <laughs> Dude, I remember when we went to dinner after that. We were fucked up. <laughs> we were like, ah. We were sitting at Longhorn, Man. waiting for the steak we to... We went to Longhorn, like, for every meal. That was, dude, we ate there four times a day. What are you doing, all the reps? I'm just, you know, I'm an endurance athlete now, man. All the reps. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm making it so you don't have to do any. Thank you, sir. Try to rob me from my gains. I'm it. sorry. I'm not squatting every day. I ain't either. <laughs> no war. Hey, you know what? That shit was cool though because every gym that I would be at for multiple days, it would end up being a group of people waiting there for me. Cause I would go late at night and I would post. After two nights, then they figure, all right, he's gonna be here. So. I have people to hang out with while I'm there and talk to, keep me, keep me company. And then we were fucking go to IHOP or something, Denny's afterwards. So that shit was pretty cool. Out here in Dallas, you know, that's it's beautiful. Cool. Ooh, that shit felt heavy. Yo, these weights do feel heavier. Look at this. Making fun of my refs. I'm not. I must not be warmed up because that shit felt heavy. It really did. I wouldn't go up over, I'd go up a 275 before I had 315. All right. I'm gonna go up to negative 275. <laughs> I wonder how would that feel? Can you, you know the science channels like Veritasium and Vsauce, and they ask questions and answer them? Like weird science. See if we got a random question up here. That would be a good question. Can you actually bench press negative 275? Like, how would that feel? Mark get a G-Wagon, right. goddammit. I do need a G-Wagon. I need something selfish in my life. No, a selfish would be like a, a, a Ferrari or a Lambo. So I could fit, fit kids. In I wouldn't let my kids but in a G-Wagon. I would not let my kids in a G-Wagon. I'd be like, you can fucking walk. Nah, the G-Wagon is made to be fucking beat this shit. You can t tear that shit up. <laughs> Man, I would still baby that shit. i baby my Ford Fusion. All right, ready? One, two. Yeah. Okay. Well. 
feels better. Right, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah, my fusion. Don't fucking laugh at my car, asshole. Fuckers. <laughs> Let him laugh at your car. Then splash the bank account on. <laughs> <laughs> my house is nice. Splash the house on. I'll be like, splash hey, I have a finished on. garage. All right, I got all kinds of. Well, what is that flooring called? The uh, that fucking flooring in the garage. The epoxy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. Like, like a real... Some, some rich uh, white folks shit. Yeah. Some rich white people shit. <laughs> oh, dude. I just got a floor. You have <laughs> more shit. rich white people shit than I have. I just got a floor in my garage. Like, I'm learning my white people shit from you. I just barely got... I've been in my house for a year and I barely got a couch like two days ago. Yeah, you know, but... I got beanbag. I'm a childish... Most At least you don't have wrestling posters on the wall. That's what I would have if I was, if I wasn't married. I got Call of Duty posters. That that is cool. All right, but what? Well, okay. That's looks too easy. Now we can put three plates on. All right. Anything special you want to do with these? Man, we just lifting. Whatever. We do. What you want? What you think? Shit, I mean, just keep it simple. Volume it out. Ten sets of five. I don't care. What do you feel? We can do that. I like that. Back to back to back to back to back to back. I like it. Sounds good to me. I don't feel like going to 405 today, bro. Let's do it. Here you go. This is, and ladies and gentlemen, this is what I talk about all the time when I say you train instinctually. Uh, both Mark and I are pretty beat up right now. It's not an excuse, but. You have to train intelligently and listen to your body. If you don't feel like going super heavy, you don't go fucking heavy. But it's still ways to get to modify your workout and add intensity to get a legit rep, uh, workout. So we're not gonna we're gonna keep the weight light and still get a solid fucking workout. So Mark gets 40 miles of the gallon and you get booty. <clears throat> that was that's pretty much how it is. I do I do kind of get <laughs> Just like when they were talking about the recession, like, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't know about a recession. <laughs> no. People complain about gas prices. I don't know what gas costs. I'm sorry. You just fill it up? Nah, I don't. It's, it's nothing you can do about it. No, nah, I never pay it's attention. What you can do about it? Like, not drive? You gas, you walk. <laughs> I walk that, y'all too high. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go for 10 sets of five. I think that works. This fucking idea. I have nothing else, man. Ready? One, two, three. <clears throat> Come on. Pause it. He's, uh... Ugh. I'm gonna have to get sexy for everybody here. We were thinking, we were thinking like, man. It's once you get that first set in. Oh, she so got the tank. Uh, see, Mark. See, you see what's going on, Mark. Yep. Uh, I gotta make up for the lack of G wagon. He had a shirt on earlier. He didn't tell me to put the tank on. He, put, he just came. I, I didn't know we were coordinating our wardrobes, bro. Sweater, man. But I'm wearing pants because I got small legs. I got the alpha wraps on, baby. I'll just wear them for the marketing value, to be honest with you. I, I need them right now. <laughs> I do wear them for marketing, but I need them right now. All right. Well, I can't let you out alpha wrap me, or else that'll just be a fucked up situation. All right. First of all, what's up, y'all? Good out there. What's up? What's going on in here? How much do you weigh currently? I'm 220 pounds. So I'm 20 pounds below stage weight. I'm eight stones. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It sounds cool. It's a, uh, dude, I'm like it's seven. Stones. You got me beat on the stones. I don't know what stones mean. So that doesn't matter. It sounds really fucking cool. Fucking great. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight. I'm eight stones. This bloke is eight stones. Bloke. What does that mean? I have no fucking idea. Do you have the uh That's fucking cool? It's like they measure you by fucking concrete. Which way do you have that shit facing? Down. Okay, I got it. I don't want to fuck up. One big, one small. Did I fuck something up? Nah, I think I grabbed. Here. Take. That I think one this off. works. Oh, no, that's a big one too. This is a big okay. one. Okay. Periscope, what's happening, baby? Hold on, I got a strap for this epic spot, bro. There's like three to four body fat. Three to four percent body fat. I'm actually thirty-four percent body fat. <laughs> Have you ever not seen your abs in the last like what 10 years, Mike? Straps. These, are, these are not straps, these are wraps. Alpha wraps, baby. Yep. Hey there, with the googly eyes. I hope you're a girl. 
Come here, girl. It's so much man on man love in Periscope. Y'all need to knock it off. <laughs> Stop it. Here we go. I don't know. I'm all right with the, a little bit of. If you guys want to do that with yourselves, it's cool. See how Mike keeps his elbows in? That's good form. Because it hurts like a bitch out. <laughs> well, that's when you start tearing shit. Didn't you almost. Periscope tip. Don't bench press like this. You no. Just throw your fucking shoulders. Turn your elbows in. Boom. Bend the bar with your pinkies. Bend that bitch. Like literally bend it. If you can't bend it, you're a And didn't you almost tear your pec the other week? Yep. Did you like hear a little snap no, I snap? tore it a year and a half ago. Yeah. Benching like this, but also I knew why. So uh, ever since, mentally my, my mind it scares me when I when I'm over four plates. Ready, one, two, three. I come down real slow and it zaps my energy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That feels good. See the thing about volume, if you're gonna get 50 reps, you could do it in one set, you could do it in you know, you could do it in 10 sets. You're still getting 50 reps. That's There's true. your math lesson for the day, assholes. 10, wait, I lost count, I, never mind. We lift weights, we ain't mathematicians. <laughs> God damn it. Um, but you know what, we are good mathematicians because we can add some fucking 45s and 25s. And <laughs> when people say, when people be like, oh, plate the 35, like what, no. 115, motherfucker, 185. But you add in that random 45. <laughs> That yeah, the bar is. Put a, put a two of the 45s and a, like, you don't know shit. One, two, three. Got him. Good shit. Eight. I'm figuring by the time we get to 10 we're sets, we're gonna be pumped dead. as fuck. We're gonna die. Like, literally die. We're just two old dad bods here. Dad body. Dad Mike, bod. Mike thinks he can dad bod harder than me. I'm hey dad, guys, dad. who dad bods harder? Quick, Mark, get another steroid. That's original. That Mike, that was original, That's, wasn't we're it? Gonna go get some steroids. Good we're gonna job. Steroids we're just gonna do that shit right here on camera. Steroids for dinner, baby. <laughs> Seriously, dude. I mean, does your mom still breastfeed you, or do you currently have His sex dad with her? Breastfeeds him. <laughs> His dad produces estrogen with that, all that gyno. I guy. love Periscope because you can talk shit back. I talk shit back anywhere. I know you do. One, two, three. I go hard. I go as hard as they go on me, I go on them. Mine hurt them more though. Come on. Uh, uh, Good shit, baby. What's the heaviest you two have benched? Mike, what's the heaviest y'all have benched? 505 in the gym, 480 in competition. Heaviest I got in competition was 470 when I was 19. I honestly never got past that since I was 19. That's fucking crazy. <clears throat> I had my day. One, two, three. Got him. Yep. Good. Nice pause rep. There's another intensity technique, pause reps. Force you to stop, because when you go down, your body has a recoil effect. You get a little momentum, a little bit of bounce. <clears throat> this takes the uh, bounce out of it. Well, in competition, if some of you may know, you have to pause it. Yeah. To make sure you're not getting a momentum. So I like to get, if I'm doing like short reps, like five, I'll get that pause on the last one, just to show I got it. The first part, you're say, oh, he bounced it. <coughs> okay, the last one. Last Where one. I should be weaker, I pause it. I don't get weak. <laughs> one, two, three. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Now, one thing I want to point out, I always talk about people turning your elbows in, right? Mark's elbows are not that far in. However, well, that's getting in the way. <laughs> however, if it's not bothering him, it's not bothering him. Flex Wheeler, one of the best bodybuilders of all times, has never had a shoulder injury, and his arms are like all the way out. Everybody's body is built different, so. That's me bringing way, my elbows in. It's not one way for everybody to lift. So, but typically for the average dad bod like myself, <laughs> I gotta turn mine in. American apple pie He's is more mine. of an uh, alpha dad bod. So you can have his bones out. 
Mark powerlifting competition. I've actually given up that dream for a battle frog obstacle course racing, which is why I'm here. Um, to go to the Fiesta Bowl, I'm doing some stuff with them. They're beautiful people. I'm Devin. I'm the uh, elite program director for Battle Frog. Um, my athletes are going to make this guy look like a fool out on our course. Oh, oh fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's, he's a big guy and he's cool as shit, but he, he needs to work on his feet. I'll, I'll just say that. I need to work on a lot of things. <laughs> wow. He's a real life troll. <laughs> I just got trolled hey, in real life. It's not trolling if it's to your face. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> I have nothing to say because he's right. <laughs> that's real. Hey, I, I respect your fucking gangster shit. That is, he's that's, like. That's Vladimir Putin right he's there. Putin, I was just about to say that's Putin. Putin would, shit. Putin approves. Putin gangs. KGB style. Uh, uh, I, it starts to get heavier as you go. This set four. Nice. Your athletes can't do that. 315, maybe not. <laughs> and this is light for us. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. See, we, you see, you see, people like from other genres of the iron sport, I respect all genres of the iron sport, but most people, they're like CrossFitters and <clears throat> what, what, what are you, OCR type? No, man, I, I, that's I'm on questions. I'm okay, no, but a lot of people, they say, oh, you see a big muscular guy. Who's the guy they talking think, shit? I don't think, like him. They think, <laughs> they think oh, 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 bodybuilders are gonna slow, you're out of breath. And they so are, a lot of them are. Of, but I'm not. I'm not. I fucking fight, I spar, I box. Listen. I'll fucking outrun anybody. I'll out, and I got, the way my brain works, I'll fucking die before I let somebody beat me doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, good luck with anybody at whatever their sport is. Good luck. If I'm challenging, <laughs> shit. He's got a point. CrossFit. I used to do CrossFit. So you're going to come out and run? I used to do CrossFit. I would do, like, Fran, Three Bars of Death. I used to do all of that shit. I had it on my YouTube channel, but I deleted it because it was when I started doing better video, better quality videos. Those were so shitty, I took them down. But I, and I would do them heavy and strict, like heavy frame. <coughs> strict, strict pull-ups and heavier weight. You know, three barbells and up, all that shit. I even got my, my CrossFit shirt, CrossFit football. Shout out to, uh, shout out to John Wilburn, CrossFit football. They legit as fuck. You yeah. Know what I mean? Hey, cr <clears throat> CrossFit has its inherent flaws, but. There is some, bro. I'm, there's some good. There's some dope ass athletes. Like I go to the game. I've been to the CrossFit games the last three years, four years, and I'm blown away by the amazing athletes. And the chicks are hot. The chicks are hot, you know. Yeah. But some that people, validates any some sport. Some CrossFitters are like in this fucking cult mindset. What box are you from? Paleo. Uh, uh, uh. And it's like, dude, like I don't know what the fuck are you talking about. Like I just lift. Paleo. I lift, and I like I said, I'm a fan of all genres of the iron sport. If you want to lift, let's lift. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Lift, run, fight, fuck, whatever you want to do. Fuck. Yeah, throw that in there. You said it under your breath, though. I just had to make sure everybody <laughs> heard it. Well, see. Well, that's what's okay. cool about a guy like Mark getting involved in OCR is it shows that we pull from all different genres. You could be a weekend warrior. You could be a housewife. You don't have to run the best time in the world. You just have to finish. And you don't even have to do every course if you're an open. So if there's a fucking nine-foot wall you can't climb over, skip the bitch. Run Get it next bitch. time. Run through that Just put your shoulder down. They better bolt them shits down for me. If I can go through it or over <laughs> it, I'm going through it. Would uh, you like to see, I would like to see the Arnold pay more than the Olympia. And I heard that they're going to be doing that in like they two will. years. Mm -hmm. Like a million dollars to the top yep. one. To the top right. one guy. Set six. One, two, three. <laughs> the Arnold's a lot more fun than the Olympia. Fuck the Olympia. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Last one, baby. He's uh, That's easy. Ugh. What do you guys think about the classic physique category? I like it. I might do it. That's a, I like it. That's a good question. I like the direction, but I think they should have just started judging regular bodybuilding like it should be. 
based on more than just how big you are, but based on symmetry, based on your lines, based on everything. Whereas it's pretty much got, just gotten to be who can be more cartoonish. Yeah. And I got to admit, at 240 on stage, I played that game. So. And 240 on stage is fucking huge. I don't think people realize till they see me in person how much bigger I am than they think I am on yeah. YouTube. Because 240 at 5'7", that's, that's a lot of weight. Oh, huge. Uh, right now, I'm a uh, slim 220. Okay. I'm ready when you are, set six. It's a cool workout because we can talk. There you go. Honestly, I'm going to be real. If it had been around when I started, being that I started as a model, I would have never become a bodybuilder. I would have gone into physique. But classic physique is right bodybuilding. In physique? Michael <laughs> Field. I kill that shit. Mm. You know, I have no idea. I, I haven't followed bodybuilding um, other than like Phil and Kai and the guys I'm friends with, like Ronnie. You know, and he's not even competing. So, I mean, unless I personally know them, I don't follow the sport. I will say that for bodybuilding, not classic physique, the one guy who can unseat Phil is Big Rami. If Big, so, if Big Rami comes in shape, he's so, he, he made will. everybody look like children. But see, but that's going back to that cartoon vibe that you're talking about. But that's why they have classic. See, I'm not a fan of freaks. I like Phil. I like Dexter's physique. I thought I like Top 2 Sean. was a good look. I thought Top 2 was oh, a good yeah. look. I loved it, bro. I, I was fucking overjoyed. I, I thought Phil, Phil and Dexter said a good... And Sean, I mean, Sean looked good. Dennis but he looked. He was a little off, though. He was, he was watery or something yeah, was I weird. Yeah, like he tried to get too big. He almost had to. I mean, Phil just dwarfed him the other year. But I like those physiques. I like William Bonac. That like guy's those. amazing. I like that kind of physique. That guy is amazing. You know what I mean? I like that physique. He looks good. Good waist. All right, lady. One. Ben Pack. Two, I like his physique. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Easy. Uh, that seven? seven? Yep, you're on your seventh. Buddy. Get some hardcore I, I booby action. The other guys, Look though. at that booby action. Do you guys do you guys do you guys get roid rage? That's a good question. If you ever met me and Mike, we're actually some of the most even tempered guys you'll ever meet. We don't we've been friends for what, three years now? We've been mm -hmm. close. We've never once argued. Um we did beat, a, beat up a group of midgets once. But that but, was more like, for fun. Like, we wasn't mad. No, nah, we were just, it just they were looking at us weird. <laughs> it was more of a contest. That hey, was so you funny. Know what? I got a friend, Chai Sirisu. Shout out to Chai Sirisu. He's a black belt, Fifth Planet Jiu Jitsu. He's a fucking world class Muay Thai fighter. He's Thai. And he's fucking dope. And he's a, he's a fucking warrior. Like, that's all he thinks of. Is, he fucking reads samurai books and shit. Yeah. And one of those kind of guys. So one time he was telling me about, he got a party, a house party, and there was a midget there. He was kind of drunk, talking about how he's a fighter. So oh, he like, no. Oh, what's up? I'll roll with you. Fucking shy. Beat the midget up, man. <laughs> Threw him all around and shit. I mean, I guess, like, he's a grown ass. Hey, if, if a grown ass midget starts beating on you. You gotta scrap with him. Do you, do, you, do you refuse to fight a midget just because of his nah, short I'll, stature? I'll fight him because I'm curious to see. You know they say midgets are real strong. So I'm curious to see that. You know what I mean? That it, it's it's kind of like a pit bull fighting a chihuahua at that point. Nah, but they're strong though. They could just headbutt you in the nuts. And they make weird sounds. <laughs> All right, let's go. Would you ever have sex with a midget? Absolutely. Although midget porn did scar me for a couple years. I seen a midget one time that kind of turned me on. I was like, hey. <laughs> she had a big ass booty. They got that booty. She got that, she had cakes. And they got that midget. Like, nah. This is the most politically correct like, nah. conversation in the history of YouTube and Periscope. We're screwing up two social media outlets. Childish, childish chest, chest session. Childish chest session. Say that three times. Childish chest. Somebody just said we're not talking business, but this machine fuel is delicious from TigerFitness.com. You can also buy some war juice and some pre-alpha. And you go to I'mSoAlpha.com and get your alpha wraps. There, now we got it out of our system. Let me give y'all a, a, a pointer in 
effort and consistency. We're branding. We're branding. We're branding. We're branding. We're branding. We are businessmen. This is the new. We're not going to go wasting our money on magazine ads. Our, our, our social media is the magazine outlet, is the outlets. And we're branding our own shit for free. How's That's Alpha fun. Junior going, someone asked. Oh, uh, Junior Alpha, he's fucking doing great. Just won a spelling bee, just killed it. That kid's smart. One, two, three. <laughs> Set eight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Easy. Easy peasy. I haven't started with flat bench in probably two months. This feels good. Good. Like Cali Muscle say, good. I'll tell you what, man. I had a good time training with him in Vegas. He's a funny dude. He's funny as fuck, man. That's the kind of guy you just you can't sleep on because he's always cracking jokes. He's the kind of guy who'd put your hand in warm water when you go to sleep. Nah. Black people don't do that. <laughs> because we know that it's going to end in a fight. Yeah. See, white people, y'all more more understanding of your friends. You know, fuck you, Adam. We, Adam? Adam? My middle name's Adam. See? There, there you go. <laughs> Stereotypes are real. I'm sorry. They come from somewhere. Shit. But a black person, I remember I was probably in the seventh grade. You know how you get punched on your birthday? Yeah. I said, I'm like, you got punch, I'm punching back. I'm punching back. <laughs> you people punched me. I ran and fucking got everybody. I never got punched again on my birthday. We don't play that shit. I don't play that shit. I don't like that. Don't fucking put whipped cream on my face while I'm sleeping and shit. Take a picture with my, your balls by my face. That's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> we too sensitive for that shit, man. Well, there's your lesson on black history, kids. So don't prank your black friends when they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to fucking try to fight you. Yeah, oh, just fuck with white people. <laughs> okay, this is set eight, right? Here we go. Do I have to remind the tape? We're on set One. eight, right? Two. Yeah, you did seven <laughs> last time. There you go. There you go. Good. Yep. Is he getting an extra one? Oh, shit, I'm tripping. He's trying to show me up. Uh, no, I'm fucking just going. You said eight, I'm thinking eight. Oh, shit. Fuck. I, Jedi mind tricks. I'm done. See, we got two more sets. You want to do uh, old pause reps for this one? No, but we can do it. <laughs> up to degree of intensity? Fuck it. Because <laughs> I was kind of bouncing the first four for you foreign police. Mark has collabed with Chris Jones before. Yes, I have. Mark Knobliner, very, 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 very creative use of terminology there. Does Mike O'Hearn think he's fooling anyone claiming Natty? Why are you worried about it? Why are you worried about Mike O'Hearn? Why you got a grown man's fucking dietary <laughs> habits on your mind? Why not just focus on making you the best you possible in whatever methods you choose to do it? How does Mike O'Hearn affect your life? You guys need to, for real guys, y'all, if y'all spent more energy on absorbing the good that people put out, y'all be a lot better off in life, you know? Yeah, yeah, I think so. They, instead of sitting around gossiping about what you think people are doing or not doing, why don't you just do something? Okay, uh, let's pause rep this, see, what, see how it works. I'll pause rep as many as I can. All right, one, two, three. Come on. Uh, yep. All right, one more set. No shit, well, we got another one. Heart like a beach ball. Actually, I would like to talk about my heart right now. My resting heart rate averages 46 beats per minute. I ran a mile in six minutes and 45 seconds the other day. I'll put my blood work up against any of y'all's, especially that guy. Wait, we gotta stop defending ourselves. Let's talk about other shit, like Fight, mental jewels. Mental jewels. <laughs> Ambrosian nutraceuticals. Seriously. We are diversifying ourselves. See, my thing is this, Mark. Like, you know, when I got into doing supplements, it came from a pure place. I almost killed myself making my first mm -hmm. shit, ready? One, two, one, two. But All now right. it seems like anybody with a name is slapping their fucking face on a bottle. You know what I mean? Yep. 
kind of frustrating. But, fuck it. But, that's why we're doing what we're doing, keeping it pure and always coming from a good place. And that's what we're doing with Ambrosia Nutraceuticals. We're coming out with products. It's not necessarily just meathead products. It's optimal health, brain functioning. Uh, Honestly, long line. I think down the road, cardiovascular function. Cardio, uh, immunity, immune system. Um, organ health. Organ health, skin care, health, hair care, like all of that, you know? So it's a lot more to life than pounding the weights. It's There's a whole, it's a lot of other activities and things. Like I always preach, be health, healthy from the outside in. And we're does, really focusing on that with Ambrosia. Does anal help with your OCR gains? It's a question for you. Um, I don't know, man. He sounds like he's the expert. He just needs to go run a race and tell me to help him out. You need to run a race and let us know how your anal goes after the race. Is he a recipient? Or are, what, yeah, are you what, giving or taking? What area of anal is he? I think I should have clarified that before. <laughs> All right, last set. Ugh. This is the longest bench workout ever. Actually, no, it's not. We've done more. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ugh. Pause reps. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more time. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yep, all right. I'm done. These wraps do help a lot. Yeah. See the, uh, the, the big ones? You go wrap here, they're multi-purpose. They yeah. only have to go around your wrist. So I put the big one, if I'm getting that, that tendonitis deal, I wrap it here. That compression helps. This could also work yeah. for occlusion training on your thighs. Exactly, on your, on your balls. <laughs> Rub it on your balls. <laughs> the testicular occlusion training. I like it. Because if you squeeze, if you wrap it around your balls, you squeeze the testicles, the testes, as, as one might like to put it, the testosterone will squeeze into your body, enhancing gains. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Learn it from here, baby. That's straight science. That's science, baby. Science. All right, last one. Drop of knowledge. <clears throat> Uh, Let's make it 20. Just kidding. There you go. Like butter. Come on. There you go. One more. There you go. Nice. Easy. Money. That is. So, what do we got? We got to do a fly movement next, don't we? Want to do dumbbell? You want to hit a machine? Do a machine. Yeah, I think we've had a good run. We do cables. I'm gonna do cables now. What you want to do? I like pectex contraction. Okay. If I do cables, it's usually last. All right. Like very last. What happened to getting back into powerlifting? I found something even cooler, and that's obstacle course racing. I'm done training like that anymore. I'm over. Who's the big spoon? We take turns. Um, the question is, who's the dog? Who's the what? Nothing. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with the lot. Fuck a lot. I do fuck a lot. I like to fuck a lot. <laughs> I'm just playing. He is? Yeah. Why? He's asking you all sorts of stuff. I didn't see it. Yeah. I'm not on Instagram because I'm on the Periscope. He asked you if you'd rather be blind or weak. See, those are good questions. I love that kind of shit. Hey, if you could read Furious Pete's. Okay, everybody, we're, we're dedicating this to Furious Pete. Who just, by the way, I think for the second time beat testicular cancer? Yeah. Um, would you rather be blind or weak? Or weak? Honestly, oh. um, it depends what you mean have by the word weak. Been, but have you ever been strong, though, and then you go to weak? Well, my, my thing is, it depends on what weak strength wise. Um, honestly, if it's just weak strength wise, okay, I'd rather be weak. But if it's weak as in emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, I'd rather be blind, because I'd rather be a strong, blind person as far as my overall outlook on life. Because you can have the best life in the world with all your wits about you, but if you aren't strong and, and actually enjoy that. Don't mean that shit. Don't mean that shit. 
Fuck it, I'd rather be fucking strong. You than want to see tits? Not, you, no, but I mean, think about it. Like, I'm you like, can hate life as a weak person. I, I feel you, bro. I asked Mars. This shit was funny. I said for, I think it was like 40, 50 million lump sum, and then maybe 2 million a month for the rest of your life. But you could never train again. Any kind of physical activity. And he was like, fuck that. I like, that's right. That's my fucking boy. Okay, I, I feel him. Like, Money's all, superficial. First of all, I, uh, I enjoy the, the journey, the chase for that 100 million, right? Yeah. Secondly, fuck living like a fucking schmuck. I'm not going to be a schmuck. No. You know what I mean? You, you know, know, it's... See, money, money's such a materialistic, superficial thing. I'd rather be, you know, I've been poor and I've had things. And honestly, as I look back, I was just as happy when I was poor. Yes, me too. I, and, and everything I have now, like, I remember sitting in my living room, looking at my ottoman, my ottoman where I put my feet up. And there's a spot underneath you can put blankets in. You open it up. And I'm looking at it like, you know, I bought that. I bought that. I bought that. I bought that. I earned everything in my house. And there's something to be said about that, about not taking handouts. Right. But I, I do want to address, like, people talk about, this is something I've been battling with people online, because they'll say, oh, you talk about, I do a lot, I talk about entrepreneurship, I talk about startups, people, you know, being their own bosses, etc. It's not for everybody, I understand it. But people are like, oh, you fucking all about the money, all about success, and... I'm like, you know what, you're right. I am all about success. You materialistic? I am materialistic. We're all materialistic I like, I like in some nice way. Shit. And you're fucking full of shit if you say you don't. You know what I'm saying? So, but whatever. Say you don't, that's fine. That doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. You know what I mean? What people don't see, the intent, matter of fact, while you here, we're gonna hit the streets. We are. And give out some fucking Tomorrow some night. clothes, some food, you know what I mean? Because we do shit like that. I, they don't y'all don't see that, but you know what, you two. I'm gonna start letting y'all see that part because yeah, same here. a lot of people like to keep it a secret and I, I, I feel that because it's coming from the heart. However, when people like us do it and people see it, we put other people on notice, uh -uh. like they doing it, we should do it. You know I what didn't, I'm saying? And look, yeah. this guy said, oh, because me and Elijah went and, and gave out clothes and food. That was beautiful, I saw that, yeah. So guy said, what's better, who's better? The guy that does it in secret or the guy that stands on the corner and tell everybody he's handing out shit? I said, you're fucking, you need to change your mindset because it doesn't matter about who the fuck's better giving it out. What matters is people getting fed. People that's cold are getting cold. But you're also setting that's an example matters. though, because we're influencers. influencers. Like it or not, so you you're watching us right now. We're influencing right, people. Right. You know, um, I just, the day before I left, I donated probably $1,000 in new clothes to Goodwill. My local neighborhood Goodwill that provides jobs. You know, I didn't say that. I didn't go on social, it's just what I do. The IFPA Pro Show I'm putting on in, uh, in Ohio on June 25th, it's a nonprofit. I'm going to lose my ass. Not only are we probably going to raise over 10000 for the middle school and 10000 for veterans, I'm going to match the 10000 going to Operation Heroes Connect T's Fund. I'm going to match it personally. So if we raise 20000 I'm going to give $20,000 to that charity. And because I wear these cool LeBrons, does that make me a bad person? Because I'm still giving back. You know what I mean? But see, it's, it's no justification. No, you don't have to justify why we like nice things. If somebody have the means to buy nice things buy and it's not affecting their bills or whatever, mm -hmm. things are important, you should have it. We only live once. I'm you know, take... YOLO is a corny term, but that shit is real as fuck. You only live once. So while I'm here, I want to enjoy, I want to enjoy life. But like, he's still giving back nice though. Shit. I might buy some nice shit and might not even like it, but at least I experienced it. I seen if I was gonna like it or not. But so. it's not like you're not helping. How many people have you helped That's the thing, in the fitness don't. industry? How yeah. many of these people come to you to build their social media? I've seen it firsthand. Mike has turned people bringing in maybe $2,000 a year into fucking people bringing in 70, 80,000 a year on their social media. That's I've seen this shit firsthand. This is the most giving dude I know. It's, you know, we, you work hard, you can afford nice things. You fucking enjoy the fruits of your labor. Fuck that, what are you talking about? <clears throat> Oh, you fucking Mercedes and like, yeah. Should I live I'm gonna in? I'm buy as many Mercedes as I can. I live in a 6,000 square foot house and I bought every fucking square inch of that motherfucker. Exactly. But should I live in a small house just to show that I'm a good person? Well, that doesn't mean you're a good person. 
No. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you'll be a fucking asshole for making your kids uncomfortable when you don't have to. They can play you know soccer in our fucking house, yeah. Exactly. I want my kids to be happy, fucking. I want them to have shit. Skipping around and yeah. fucking, you know what I mean? My dog got space to run around. I want them to have stuff I didn't have. Exactly. That's our job exactly. as parents. My number one job is as a parent and a husband. As my, a provider. And also, and then my number, my other job is to make sure my employees are taken care of. Exactly. And then it's to give back. Exactly. Yeah, but, the thing. It's, it's a lot of shit that people, we do, people have no idea about, but fuck it, I'm going to let it be known now. I, it, it's, it's, it, it's better for the people, see, it's the people who ain't doing shit that talk shit about that. Oh, why are you fucking telling people you're doing this? But no, fuck if I tell people I'm doing it or not. Even if a person is vain about it, yeah, I give shit to the homeless. You Guess still give shit to the homeless? The homeless is getting shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People worried about the wrong shit. The end line, the, I'm a bottom line guy. The bottom line is hungry people are getting fed. The bottom line is people who are cold. It's fucking cold out there. I got a trunk full of hoodies. You know what I'm saying? Here, put some yeah. shit on. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong. Look, if you're going to brag about anything. Brag about that. Brag about that. Not Don't about, brag about how much you bench. Or, or your fucking abs. Y'all talk about shit about Look at us. Instagram. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> We get shit talked about for feeding homeless. Yeah, girls be just doing this. But y'all show your asses and your fucking abs in a million selfies, and that's fine. Come on, man. Now, we show our asses and our abs, but they're fucking great asses and abs. Uh, what do you want to do next? Uh, go eat. <laughs> <laughs> we got anything left in our chest? Want to go back to like a press or a dip or a... Mark, I want to go eat. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, baby. Mike's got soft on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the third day. Nah. I what, mean, whatever you want to do. Want to do one more movement, then hit a Q&A? We can. What you want to do? Because I feel like it ain't nothing good to do left. Nah, we got fucking 50 reps. Like, if we would have went to incline press after flat, then that would have been good. But we're going to do it like a pin, pin loaded. They don't need to see that. That's just boring. What do you guys want to see? Let's see. What do you guys want to see? And. Cop. No, no gay, no, no gay stuff. Would you marry LeBron James? No, I'm straight, and I'm already married. Overtraining is the new warm-up. How much does Mental Jewels cost? $49.99 on TigerFitness.com. Plyo push-up contest. Push-up contest. Push up these. Tits or get the fuck out. Um, I guess we... I'm down for push-ups. Just to burn it out. Incline dumbbell. I don't want to do incline dumbbell. We just did a 50 reps of fucking bench. How about something else? Questions, q and I mean, we could just leave this running for Q&A, too. Would you guys rather just see us jump right into Q&A? What do y'all think? Just go Q&A or push-up? Legs, really? This ain't, this ain't, Mike, Mike ain't doing the fucking squat challenge anymore. Push-ups. Mike, you down for push-ups? No. <laughs> go ahead, Mark, go ahead. Do your push-ups. Fuck it, I'll do it. How many do you I'm want me to get? Already. I got buff already. I ain't got nothing. How many do you want me to I get? For the rest of my life, I'm buff. I'll I've do. There. I'll do one, one all-out set. Two hundred five. Come on, man. I'm thirty-five years old. How about I just get um. How about I just get fifty? But I ain't coming all the way up. Or how about I get as many plyo push-ups as possible? Is that good? That's good. There it is. There. I did. I did ask him. Push-ups, Mike, on your back? Hell no. My dick on your back. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Uh, okay, this is the stance. Look at look at that pose. You you like that shit? That's sexy. Oh yeah, you guys got to screenshot this. Screenshot it. I'm kidding. All right, plyo. Think I could double clap? Hold it. on, we need some we need some product placement here. Tiger Fitness. You like? Nah. All right. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Not gonna fall on my face for y'all. All right, I'm good. Q and A. Let's do it. And then dinner. All right, guys. Okay. 45 pussy push-ups. Those are plyo push-ups. 
How can you get much more range of motion than a plyo push-up? What's for dinner? Your mom? Your mom's crotch. <laughs> we'll eat your mom's crotch out. Incline if you want to hit upper chest. That's actually a good question, Mike. Uh -huh. People always think angles on the presses work different areas of your chest. A press is a press. A press is a press. In fact, incline works the least. Decline works the most. Flat bench works the second most. No such thing as an upper chest. That's not how the pectorals work, bro. Why is Mike black? Because your mom. That's my answer for everybody. Because <laughs> your, your mom. Arms are growing. No, actually, I think the rest of me is shrinking. That's for God's, God's honest truth. I've lost 20 pounds. It came from somewhere. Probably came from my legs, chest, and lats. Isn't there an upper and lower chest? No, there's the major and minor pectoralis, but that's about it. But it, it gets hit when you press. I mean, when you press, you're hitting your chest. It doesn't matter. You're not going to build a bigger upper chest just by doing inclines. That's old school bro shit. It's your boy, Mike Machine. The Machine, Mark Lobiner. And we are friends first, business partners second. And we had a fucking great time. It was a fun workout. Hanging we out. still got it in. That's what we're doing. And we're hanging out all week, going to a football game. Fiesta Bowl, VIP, courtesy of the Battle Frog Series. Look them up. Um, it's obstacle course racing. It's really cool. It's what I'm doing right now. It's my focus on training. But I still, and always will be, a bodybuilder. All, all day. And uh, shout out to our other brother, Sean Torbati. He's not with us right now. Um, but you know, we, as many of you know, we just launched our new line, uh, Ambrosia Nutraceuticals. The first product is Mental Jewels. It is a uh, brain performance, mental health type of supplement. And uh, we're focusing more on, with Ambrosia, we're focusing more on optimal health. You know, not just the, you know, not just the pre-workouts, not the sports nutrition side, but really optimal health. You'll find some of our products in doctor's offices and stuff like that, you know. And uh, we just want to give you guys, uh, we want to be more dynamic with the product that we put out. And trust me, guys, this is coming from a good place, a really good place. People think that everything we do is to make money, right? No. We got to make money. That's a given. However, I, from the gate, I was like, hey, we ain't going to make money on it, but fuck it. This is a fucking cool-ass product. It's a very expensive to make. Um, it's all patented ingredients. You know, not just using the cheap Chinese-grade Bacopa. We use Bacognosize. Um, I'll always mispronounce that till the day I die. But everything we use is patented, trademarked ingredients. We're not just using the run and mill If you look at the back, and if you have something like Bacopa and there's not a trademarked or a patented license name on there, they're most likely using whoever's the cheapest Chinese supplier. And that's not how we roll. And that's not how we will ever roll with this line. This is the top of the line type of supplement. We spared no cost. We literally, what most companies do is they come up with this formula to meet margin. They right. want to make it for under X. We made the formula first and then we worked out the price because honestly, for the price you're getting it at, it's really not that high of a markup considering how expensive the raws are. And, and if you look at the research, it's there. And we're okay with that. Like, this is something, mental jewels is something that, you know, I, I thought of before pre-workout, pre-alpha, but I didn't have the, the capital or the knowledge to put it together. After that, I got with, with Mark, I got with Sean, we came together, we put our heads together, and we all talked about it. We made a plan to make it happen, maybe a year and a half ago, we started working on it. Like a, it took a year to make this. You, people can turn around a product in a month. Yeah. Less than a month. This took a year. Three people. How often have you seen three independent companies come together and feel so strongly about something that we literally start a new company for it? And, I mean, and, that's how awesome this and is. The science, like you said, the research is there. The science is there. Um, we have we have you know legitimate like doctors backing this. I mean, you know the proof's in the pudding. You know. It's, it's no placebo, this, this stuff actually works. You know, this is something that I feel, I always tell people, train your mind as hard as you train your body. We train our bodies, we put supplements to help uh, with our performance. Why not do that with our brains? You know, our brains are the most important organ in our body. You well, know what I mean? You know, you know what we say, where the brain leads, the body follows. Exactly, so you know, that's why Mental Jewels is bringing Mental Jewels to the market. I am beyond proud of this shit, bro. After taking it consistently, beyond the pilots we did, mm -hmm. 
I mean, every day I become more and more a believer in a product. And usually it's one of those things where it gets better in time. There's no exactly. cycling off. Right, right, right. And that's what's beautiful about it. Everything right. about it is perfect. But the only, the only bad thing about it is when you stop, you get dumb. <laughs> nah, that's what's up. But we about to go eat, go grow up, but we'll holler at y'all. We'll be back. It's my bro, man. We gotta do more collabs. We do. We mm. fucking kick it all the time. We just don't be, it don't be on fucking YouTube. But, <laughs> well, it's you know. hard to be like, hold on. Right. Hold on. We gotta turn the camera, the camera on. on. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. All right. Much love, y'all.